Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another video of our Let's Play Franchise Mode series. We are finally playing after the launch, and I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for your, all your feedback and your comments at the first episode. It's really awesome to see you guys are so excited for me playing this too. So thank you guys so much for that. If you want your name also being added in our zoo, please do go to my community wall. The link is in the description and sign up for it there. It's not a made up name. It will be your YouTube name. So we all know who it is that will be in our zoo if you guys are commenting during this series. So I'm really excited for that. We're looking at Indoraptor right now. We also have Doodles and Jordina in our park and hopefully they will be getting some babies very soon, so we are able to name more of them. And of course, we have to build another habitat in our zoo because we want more guests. We want them to spend more money. I already... <gasps> are you ready? What's that? Coincidence that you were so close or what? Oh, they're so beautiful, aren't they? And I saw a few of you saying, oh my god, if you're going to see the babies, they are like the cutest thing ever. They are so adorable. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Um, so yeah, Georgina. And what I did do before I started recording, I just put down another staff room because there was not enough space for them. But as you can see, we don't really have that much money. So I really feel we should... Just let the game run for a little bit. Hopefully we can get to 15k and if we get there, then we can decide what other animal we're going to add. And it might be... Well, we have to go for a high appealing animal, obviously. And hopefully we can decorate this really soon once we have some more money. Because I am really excited to really create a beautiful zoo. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. So let's just wait and see if we can get some more money. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're mating. Now this should be the mating. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <gasps> Are you pregnant now? Doodles, you're expecting offspring. That is so amazing. I'm so happy. I was just like, I'm gonna wait, but I don't want to miss out if they are getting pregnant or anything like that so I'm super excited for this so the first baby is coming to our zoo and we need that because we definitely need more money so we need more guests in our zoo so hopefully that will work out and as soon as the baby arrives we're going to raise the prices of our entrance tickets just by one dollar but I think we are good to go and good to do that as soon as we get another animal in our zoo and obviously when we create a new habitat then we should be good to go I totally forgot to add a electricity here so that's why the staff was complaining because they were not able to use this staff room because there was no power here so I did place a transformer right over here so we now have electricity here too and I added it to the work roster so at least everything should run smoothly Okay, now don't ask me how, but apparently Georgina is also expecting a little baby. Where are you? You're here. Offspring May year two. It's May year two right now and we are earning some money. So that is going really well. So the only thing I want to do now is just wait until she gets a little baby boy or a baby girl bongo. I am so excited to see how they will look. If you want to hide this UI, by the way, if you are playing, just press G. I do have a few tutorials on my channel. I just recently posted them. If you need any other tips of keys for building, building a dome, building an underwater viewing gallery. It reminded me because I mentioned it in my video. So press G if you want your UI to be hidden away. If you want to make some beautiful screenshots and stuff. So it just works just like this. It's really nice. Uh, oh my goodness, we're getting a baby! We're getting a baby bongo! I hear, I hear it. Yes, offspring. Georgina's about to have offspring. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness. They're so beautiful, aren't they? They're so adorable. 
I'm super excited to see that little baby coming in now. Those ears! They're so cute! I can't help it. Nom nom! Eating time! Oh, and that rain. Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. Look at those eyes. Oh, I think it's going to happen. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, a baby girl! Oh my gosh! We're going to name this one the Gilders Levy! Oh my goodness! <gasps> You're so cute! Oh my god, that sound! That sound is hilarious! Look at that little smile on her face! Oh my goodness, you guys were so right saying that they are so adorable. <laughs> they are so cute. I can't help it. Oh my goodness, look at that face. That's hilarious. Okay, we're going to name you. And you are going to be the Gilders... Levy, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but you're the baby girl and oh my god, it's just a matter of time and Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Don't run from me. This is not Georgina. No, I'll spring due to July Year two. Oh my goodness. This is so exciting guys. We are getting another baby in this is amazing Okay, anytime now she's going for a swim Doodles is going for a swim. Oh my goodness. This is so much fun. I'm so curious to see what Animal baby we're going to get if it's going to be a boy or a girl. I would love to have a boy in here, too That would be so cute to have a boy and a girl baby in here. I wonder if they can have more than one baby We have to see that check that in the Zoopedia oh My god, look at that little one over here. It's so adorable. <laughs> and those sounds! <laughs> That's so funny! Are you gonna lay down for us? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's gonna happen. Yes! Yes! What do we have? Oh my god, look at that smile! <laughs> <laughs> they are so adorable! A baby boy! We have a baby boy! So this is going to be Shadow! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy! Oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> Look at that face of the other- <laughs> Oh my god, they are so adorable. I love it. So welcome Shadow and Gilders Levy. Thank you so much for your name suggestions. And remember, if you want your name in this zoo, please do go to the community wall. The link is in the description of this video. I am- oh, I'm so happy with these babies. Okay, and now we have almost, yeah, well, that's like 15k. So we should be good to go to build another habitat. And what animals shall we add? I mean, that is definitely something. So I'm thinking that we might want to get a, let's go just for a high appealing one, just to see. Uh, I don't want lions. I don't want lions in front of the zoo, like in the entrance. Um, I think we might want to go for... Shall we go for a Himalayan brown bear? Because I always had grizzly bears or the Formosan black bears, but I've never had the Himalayan brown bears. So that could definitely be a thing. So what would their appeal be? I do wonder. Also, we have a achievement so we can get some more money in, which is great. Oh, 5,000? That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to select them on age because we do want to prevent getting a very old one. And we might want to go for... That one is way too expensive. Okay, so maybe this one, Jumango, which has orange stats and one green one. And now we want to go for a male, so I'm going to select it on males. And, oh gosh, there are not that many. Oh, they're way really too expensive. This is the only one we can get. Oh my god, it's probably not okay. It's not sold. 
Okay, let's... Oh, okay. Okay, this is going to be really challenging, guys, because there are not that many Himalayan brown bears on the market, and I can't really afford them to get a different one, so I can only hope that the Frontier Zoo will add a male onto the market, so we can hopefully get another one in so we have a male and a female so i'm just gonna refresh this to see if frontier zoo will add one. Oh wait there's one for thousand perfect okay so the immunity gene is not really good perfect okay we have now two himalayan brown bears so i'm gonna wait until it's daytime and then i'm going to build them a habitat and i am thinking to leave some room so we can have like when we do have some more money, we can really do creative things with it and just have a nice lushy surrounding. So I do want to have a little bit more room and I'm thinking to maybe just start building on this side right over here or maybe on that side because we have the staff facilities right over here. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to leave some space here and then I'm going to build a habitat on this side, maybe on this side. And we work from there so we can have a lot of creativity and room for that in a later stage by the surroundings of the current habitat so we can renew them. I think that's a very good idea.
Okay, so this is basically the base of our Himalayan brown bear habitat. Now, I don't want to spend too much right now on this habitat because I'm just really afraid that uh, I will go bankrupt. I did this during my live stream and I had, I think it was a Formosan black bear or the grizzly bears. And I was adding so much stuff and then it was so hard to earn some more money. So we have 17k right now. We do have another guest number reward, which is really great. Uh, we are going to name these bears. So we have a male here and this is going to be Muffin. Thank you so much for your name suggestion. You have been commenting on every video. When is the next episode of the franchise mode? Well, here you are and here's your name, Muffin. You are now a bear. A Himalayan brown bear, I should say. And also, we're going to have a female bear, which is going to be called Eshi Gabby. So hopefully you will like to be a Himalayan brown bear and hopefully you guys can bring in some babies. Now we do have to add this habitat into a work zone. So we're going to make a new one. Do we have a keeper's hut here? I don't think we do. So we might want to add a keeper's hut to this section. So double click to this and you get into the grid for those who are wondering. And we're going to have a keeper's hut. And we're going to add it right over here. This is all temporarily, guys. That's why I'm not paying too much attention. We're going to have a very beautiful staff area right over here in a later stage. But for now, we're going to have a new work zone. And we're going to add this one in. This is the staff room. Yes, keeper's hut. And then we're going to call this the... Let's just call it bears for now. Okay, there you go. So now we have that. So now I want to have just one more keeper on this side. And we're going to have you to the bears work roster. And as you can see, I have two viewing galleries right over here. So two small areas. We don't have the one-sided glass yet so i don't want to disturb them too much and we're going to have like uh, it's going to be so nice i have so many awesome ideas for this and we're going to cover this up with a lot of wood and stuff we might want to separate them in a later stage and uh probably going to have this a little bit lower so we're going to redo these fencing in a later stage i am super excited to do that but for now i really like this i like this idea i use it a lot lately because i just really love to have like natural stone bridges and they're able to use it which is super cool and then they have like this cave obviously we're going to have a lot more rocks because the lady just loves her rocks you know you know <laughs> and they're just so cute too I can't choose if I like the Himalayan brown bear or the press L to a light torch, by the way. But I did change the times of our zoo, so it's not going to stay too dark. They are super cute. I really can't choose if I like the grizzly bear or the Himalayan brown bear more. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I think these have a bit more longer fur because they, I think, are more known for the snowy areas although i think grizzly bears also like some snow but not too much as the himalayan brown bear i think so i like that i think that's why they have a longer fur in this case uh i don't see grizzly bears so minus 10 ah, okay maybe i'm wrong then but the grizzly bear does like a little well, a little a bit more warmer temperature so yeah, we have Muffin and Eshia. That's so cute. I really hope they can get babies. Let's check and compare those maids. Low welfare. Why are you having a low welfare? Oh yeah, because we don't have enrichment. Let's have a look at our research real quick. Okay, so we have one. Oh my gosh, we almost have everything. So we can give them some stuff to enjoy in their habitat. And let's do some research on the Himalayan brown bear now. And we're also having some research of the mechanic. And I do always try to get this one first because I really want that one-sided glass before our animals get super stressed or anything like that. I think everything is going pretty well here. Look at them all eating. That's so cute. All together. Oh, it's so adorable. 
Okay, so we can give them a little bit more in their habitat. So let's find the bungo. What did we unlock? So we have the grab ball. We have a rubbing pillar. Small barrel feeder. Let's give that one to you. And maybe also this one. No, wait. Let's remove that one and replace it for this one. And then we're going to have a rubbing pillar. Let's see if they will be happy with that. So let's see. Can we add you here? Okay, we can. Okay, are you guys happy? Okay, enrichment, food enrichment could be a bit better. So, okay, we have we can switch those two. So let's add the small barrel feeder then. Okay, now it's 80%. Perfect. They don't really need it, but because they already have babies, but obviously we want to enrich them with some items. So that is really perfect so the next thing i want to do in the next episode when we have 30k i want to expand our zoo with another habitat and hopefully we can get to like 50k or anything to really start redoing our areas and make it nice and pretty but i do think we have a very nice layout even though you can't really tell yet but i have something really awesome in my in my mind so i'm really excited for that make sure to subscribe of course if you already haven't leave your youtube name at my community wall link is in the description if you want any animal named after you make sure to leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and i really hope to see you guys in the next one bye guys